Since the initial introduction of ChatGPT3 in June 2020, it has become one of the most used platforms around the globe. The company amassed 1 million users in a little close to months. But it is set to become even bigger with Microsoft investing billions of dollars into the company. And while there is some positivity to this deal, there are concerns that Microsoft might actually destroy ChatGPT3 as we know it. This video will show you whether Microsoft will destroy ChatGPT3 or not. Microsoft's Involvement in OpenAI OpenAI was founded in 2015 by Elon Musk and a group of technology leaders, including Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, Ilya Sutskever, Wojciech Zaremba, and others to promote and develop friendly AI in a way that is beneficial to humanity. This led to the introduction of ChatGPT and many other products, such as Dolly e But later in 2018, Elon Musk stepped down from the board of OpenAI citing potential conflicts of interest with his role as CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. That must have been a difficult decision. Yeah. While Musk's decision might have impacted the firm on a short-term basis, they have thrived and had huge investors. One such investor is Microsoft, which has invested about $10 billion into the company. The recent investment constitutes just the third phase that Microsoft has invested in the company, as they had previously invested in OpenAI in 2019 and 2021. But with this third phase, both parties are seeking to extend the use of the platform, which is one reason why others are questioning whether Microsoft will destroy ChatGPT. More on that shortly. Later on in the video, we will also explore the key reasons Microsoft has decided to make such a vast commitment, including a desire to beat Google, so stay tuned! Will Microsoft destroy ChatGPT? As hinted earlier, one of the core reasons why people have started questioning Microsoft's intentions is OpenAI's decision to monetize the platform. From its inception, OpenAI's goal was to ensure that AI is developed to benefit all of humanity. According to them, they intended to do this by making the research and technologies freely available to the public, including ChatGPT. However, the company has rolled out plans to initiate a pro version of the platform, which, according to reports, will have much more features than the current one. That sounds expensive. Oh, it will be. The company even allowed several people to sign in to the test phase, with Greg Brockman, who is the president and co-founder of OpenAI, tweeting that, working on a professional version of ChatGPT will offer higher limits and faster performance. If interested, please join our waitlist here. It is believed that the pro version will soon be rolled out for about $42 per month. Users who sign up for the pro version will, for example, have features such as a faster response rate and as many messages as possible. And also, they will be immune to blackouts on the platform. Without a doubt, there is some legitimacy in the company wanting to monetize ChatGPT, but concerns that Microsoft's involvement and desire to make some profits have destroyed the initial goal of making it completely free. If you already love this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you will never miss any of our engaging content on AI in the future. How Microsoft Intends to Use ChatGPT One counter-argument can be advanced to show that Microsoft might not necessarily destroy ChatGPT, they... they won't? Oh, heavens! No, they won't! That is that the company will lose more than any other person or entity if they destroy the platform. Instead, they would want to maximize ChatGPT's potential to bridge the insane gap between them and Google. As is public knowledge, Google is the dominant player in the search market, with a market share of around 90%. From Statista, as of December 2022, online search engine Bing accounted for nearly 9% of the global search market, while market leader Google had a share of around 84.08%. The figures indeed paint a negative picture for Microsoft, which has failed to compete several times in the past few years. But with ChatGPT on their side, they can quickly and easily become leaders. This argument is supported by Gil Luria, who is a technology strategist at DA Davidson. When we start incorporating generative AI into search, that's going to materially change the nature of competition in the search market and allow Bing, it hasn't had in decades to be competitive with Google searches," Loria said to Yahoo Finance. In fact, recent reports indicate that Google has taken keen notice of the situation and has issued a code red as they attempt to stay ahead of the situation and maintain their position. In addition to strengthening its Bing search engine, Microsoft is reportedly set to roll out the chat GPT across all its platforms. This will mean that Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and PowerPoint will have this feature embedded and the result will be beyond measurable. For example, users can easily open a Word document and instruct it to write a 10-page essay, which will be quickly done. 
Could heaven be any better? So clearly, there are a number of ways that Microsoft could use to maximize the chat GPT, but it does not rule out the fact that it may destroy the original purpose for which the platform was established. Other influential people, such as Elon Musk, believe that the chat GPT could even be used as a weapon to harm others. And you can watch our next video for more information on this statement and more. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.